Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. I wanted to share about some mascaras in today's video, namely tubing mascaras from Blink right here. They sent some to me last year. This is not a sponsored video, but I've come to really like the formula. I have dry skin, but my eyelids are super oily, and I feel like these are really great if you have oily eyelids. It might just be personal preference or personal experience, so keep that in mind, but any other mascara, and I've tried so many different kinds, they either transfer onto my lids, give me the raccoon eyes or anything like that. They just get super messy throughout the day, especially if I'm outside and it's like sunny and I'm squinting or I start tearing up. But with these, I haven't noticed, like I don't get that. So I wanted to share about these mascaras in today's video. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of mascaras in general. I'm usually wearing DIY lashes, but lately I've just been really liking just like a mascara type look and once in a while I do like to give my lashes a break from DIY lashes so these have been kind of like my go-to for those moments and I've been using these quite often so just wanted to share they have three different kinds and all three have different applicators so I feel like depending on your lashes you might uh, veer towards a certain applicator. I have a finer or thinner lashes like they're not super thick by any means. I do use a lash serum. I use Latisse. I've used so many different kinds. Latisse works really well. You have to use it every single day and I would say it takes like two to three months to see results. Right now I'm using Grandy Lash just to keep that length. So I just wanted to mention that. But let me show you guys the different applicators. So there's Ultra Volume, Amplified, and the extension, lash extension one. And they all are tubing mistakes scares but they have different applica applicators so here's the ultra volume one this one is my least favorite if I'm being honest it has like these really soft bristles but they're really short and for some reason no matter how many times I try it I just don't really like how it looks on my lashes I don't know what it is because I usually like these kinds of applicators with like soft soft bristles but for some reason this just looks really messy on my lashes I don't know so this is the one that I'm not going to try in today's video I don't know maybe it's just maybe it's just my lashes but I just I don't know I haven't had like too much luck with it so this one I don't usually reach for this is the amplified one I wanted to show you guys side by side because they do have the same soft bristles but this one has kind of like a cone shape as you guys can see so I don't know what it is but I feel like this one just works so much better on my lashes and then on the other eye I'm gonna be using the lash extension one it has those short silicone type bristles and this one really helps to spread out the lashes, it doesn't make them look clumpy, and it does give length. They did also send a black lash primer here, this is their Jet Black Lash Primer, and I don't usually use primers, I'm just not one of those people that uses lash primers, I don't really like them. This is what it looks like for anybody interested, kind of has like a bit of a curved wand. I'm not crazy about primers, so I'm not going to be using a primer in today's video. So on this eye, I'm going to use Amplified, and then on this eye, I'm going to do the lash extension one. So here's one layer with the Amplified. As you can tell, I don't have, like, my lashes are kind of sparse. They do have the length, but they're not, I don't have, like, a ton of them. And you can see there's almost like an eyeliner look because some of the mascara did transfer onto the lid a little bit and at the base and underneath at the waterline. So it kind of gives, like, an eyeliner look. This is what I mean by mascaras can get messy. And you can go in and apply another coat if you want. I tried applying it on top, but I feel like the more you mess with it, the messier it gets so I kind of just apply a coat or two kind of go in a few times and you know to my liking make sure that they're not clumpy or anything and then I leave it at that so this is amplified and then on this eye I'm going to do the lash extension one this one right here here is the lash extension one and I think I like this one so much more so what i realized is that with the silicone type bristles or i don't know what this material is you don't get a ton of mascara on the actual wand whereas with the amplified one and like the soft bristles there's so much mascara in there that it almost creates like this clumpy mess so it's a lot messier but with this one there's not a lot on the wand so you just get a much cleaner look and you still get that lash extension look like these are really long nicely spread out let me see if i can go in with the lash extension one and kind of fix this one up a bit. Probably not, because then I feel like the more you try to tweak it, the messier it gets. Okay, here is an after. I definitely love the lash extension one. 
Sorry, I'm using a soft focus filter and do you see how it like transitions? I should have turned it off completely because then it's just like, it's almost like embarrassing. <laughs> I use it for vlogs sometimes just because I feel like it gives like a softer finish. But for like close-up videos like this, sometimes I forget to turn it off. So this is the lash extension one. I just love how the lashes... They look nice and clean, whereas with this one, it looks a little bit messy at the base, but I did try to clean it up a bit. So personally, the lash extension one is definitely my favorite. It just gives like a nice, very clean, lengthening look. And the main reason why I like these mascaras is because if my eyes ever get watery, I'm outside in the sun or anything like that, like they don't transfer onto my oily lids. And my lids are just so oily for some reason. And I don't get raccoon eyes. Very easy to remove. You can see some videos online where you just basically take some water. You don't even need a makeup remover. And you apply some pressure or apply some water and then apply a little bit of pressure and they kind of like slide off. I think I'm going to finish the video here. Just wanted to briefly talk about some new mascaras that I've been really liking. So if you can relate then maybe you will like them too. I'll link them down below. The ones, I think you can find them on Amazon or their website. I'll try to link down below as well. But hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos. Just came from a walk outside but wanted to do an update on the mascara. I'm using my iPhone and not a smudge in sight. We just spent like the past half hour walking. It's super sunny and bright. This is why I love this mascara. So if you have oily eyelids, check it out.